What? Look at this place. This must be a branch of the world tree. Oh, I see. It's just like, um... It's the, it's the teleport dimension. It's a loading screen, yeah. You know, Nightcrawler does the exact same thing. He just does it at a really fast speed. I forget... Yeah, I've never seen this interpretation of the world tree before. That's why Norse mythology is so cool, I think. It's actually kind of abstract compared to, like, uh, Christian mythology, etc. I like it just because it is very nature-based. Because, yeah, the Greek pantheon has animals within it, but it's mostly just people turning into animals. It tends to just be a lot of people doing things. Norse mythology just brings a lot of nature into it. The fact that it has a central world tree, and in what are who are what are the three inhabitants of the tree? More animals. You have Vindafor on the top. You have Ratatos, the squirrel running up and down it, and the Nidhogg dragon at the bottom. So still more animals. We jump. And then really? there's like the deers that dance around it. So lots of animals on the world tree. And it's not until you get to the gods that's like okay, now we're dealing with actual Bad people. Idea! Dun 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 From the highest cliff. I don't actually know what that did. Maybe I should have just walked through the door. <laughs> this is a game over. It's the best game over. Oh. <laughs> okay, sorry, I thought that was a loading screen. That's what I get for not paying attention, I guess. So Kratos, with his son as a backpack, hurled himself on the peak of the world tree. Was there a little something there? I saw a circle. From the highest cliff, I don't know what this... Nope, it was just a part I of like how you literally have the option to cast yourself off again. Don't throw yourself off the path. Why? Why is that an option? In case you wanted to try it. Yeah, idiot proofing, I guess. It's like, I've played God of War 1, so have you. <sighs> I guess he just takes these portals all the time. He just has a whole bunch of shops set up. Okie dokie, Archokey. Let's move on. Yeah, I guess you just go through the doors all the way. Yes, yeah, so now we can actually finally make progress. How neat that we just completely went off the trail at our own little adventure and we're just right back where we were. That was a chest I was forgetting here, I believe. I may have already gotten one. Yeah. They both have, uh, pack silver. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there we go. I still can't read these. Oh, well, I guess we'll just continue then. Thanks for ruining the trip. Oh, hello. Oh, what the fuck was that? Ew. Disgusting. Oh, I'm watching you. Come on, Tom. Pace yourself. Learn to attack properly. See, this room looks like a classic God of War trilogy battle room. Like, basically a perfect square room with some glowing text that you can't read until the fight's over. That will probably just lead into the room's puzzle. Okay, so you can't read these. That way is blocked. There should be some wood, uh, wood planks on the wall to smash those bad boys. I'm not missing another one of these. Precious, precious law. Another one here. Look, it's the world serpent. But what if you put all the lore in your items? Will gamers even find it? I like a, I like a mix of the two. I'm okay with it. I don't get how people can be, like, so obstructively mad about it, but it's not my favorite way to get plot, but then again, I'm also the kind of person who's more than willing to watch two stage plays and read three books to just figure out how a game starts, so... I, I'm also the worst judge of reason how reasonable can you have your lore be in your games. Like, I, I will allow you to go pretty far. Yeah, for sure. I'm cool with it. What is the Poison poo gas. Poison. Is it wise to go through here? In I went in, it's stinky. Just keep getting stuff, Tom. Just keep getting stuff. That is a dead end. 
Looks like your axe can freeze the structure making the, the gas, though. That's cool. I'm not dead yet. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> that was a boy's reaction. Critus gets all mad and screams. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was like... Atreus is also his son, so he probably sees Kratos have these outbursts all the time. So, whereas people see this hyperviolent man going to murderous fit, Atreus is like, oh no, dad's, you know, dying on the floor again. Okay, let's do that properly this time. Throw the axe at scorn poles to freeze them. What the hell does that mean? The little towers that are making the poo gas? Ah! You can throw your axe at them. Ah! I think there's going to be like a death in every part from now on. Jesus, Tom. What's... Now you're thinking with Leviathan. Well, it's either this or we just retake over and over. And I don't want to do that, to be honest. It's, it's, it's okay. We we lived and learned. Yes, we did. We're hanging on the edge of tomorrow. Oh, I see. you got to leave it in there. Okay. I'm an idiot. I do like how Kratos' element affinity is ice, though. That's because he didn't really have elemental stuff. He did like lightning-based attacks, but those were all from the other Greek gods giving him abilities. I guess so. Yeah. Okay, let's not get side, like swiped by poison or whatnot. Okay, so so they're called worms, but with a U. So it's kind of like one of those. Um, really specific words for a dragon. Mm hmm Yeah. Eat shit. Now give me a room full of those with projectile enemies and whatnot. And you're screwed. Yeah. Do you think the Vikings ever in their lifetime saw a jaguar? Hmm. Oh, we did it together. Teamwork. It's a good thing we upgraded that. Hey, it's a fragment of a language cipher. Ah, oh, okay, so we're, we're gonna be living and learning and whatnot. Muspelheim. Can we not activate that yet? Or can it be only be learned while poison is going on? That's a no. Back up. Come on, Tom, you're dying! You died again because you're an idiot! Yeah, just don't activate it. Um, said, I guess we gotta climb up a wooden structure. Yeah, I know, Rex, <laughs> I can figure that out, funnily enough. I figured it was like stopping me from reading it because the like poison was frozen, but that's just idiotic, I guess. I, I mean, the game logic fits. Hmm. So we must have quit. Or just try harder, I guess. <laughs> to the Bronco. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're all the way back here. New lesson. Uh, huh. Well, that's more lore. Okay, it wasn't actually a lesson we needed to learn. It was literally just a piece of lore called New Lesson. I mean, is it really? Should we call it lore? Shouldn't we call it, like, mythology at this point? I don't know, because we're living it right now. Oh my god. Ah! Alright, come on, where are you? He's around there somewhere. I gotcha. Um, that, that lore thing that we read, Skull and Hati, mm -hmm. they're basically um, two wolves, I guess, but... They're kind of the personifications of the sun and the moon. So, you know, the myths for the passage of day. I remember the last god that tried to control the sun. Kratos ripped his face off and used it to blind people. Jeez. Oh, they're the scorn poles. She was the one who showed me yeah. how to disable them. What? It's just funny to think of her teaching you something. Are you gonna let me jump or do I have to go up? Oh, there we go. Beautifully carven path for us to peruse. I mean, it's no Uncharted, but it works. Then again, Uncharted also apparently isn't Uncharted anymore, but I like them all. I I, I think the climbing mechanics in that those games are cool. I just always feel bad for Nathan's hands, because Jesus. 
The blisters, man. Ooh, the oh. foothills. Sure is foggy here. Brock, is that you? Have you already set up shop? Huh. Another dwarf. Should we... No. He is of no consequence. <laughs> uh, excuse me, but um, how did you come by that uh, axe? That is my concern alone. Flea market. Uh, yep. While I won't dispute that, I I know that blade. It was one of ours, but uh, <laughs> we didn't make it for you. Oh, I see. They're kind of like goblins in Harry Potter, because they want their works back on the day of death and whatnot. Well, no, because they also were enlisted to make stuff, too. That was the whole point of finding that ring. Oh, he's talking about Kratos' wife. You did something to her. It was my mother's. She left its father before she died. There you go. Everything's cleared up. Face dead? I'm very, very sorry to hear that. She was a fierce warrior. And a good woman. I see something in the background that has my attention. Stop it. Stop being distracted and okay. feel the emotion that the game wants you to feel I with its singular camera view. I will. I will. But nobody asked you to. Well, it's kind of implied. It's true, but... But knowing your mother... <laughs> She would have insisted I repair that act of vandalism perpetrated against her axe by my brother. I knew it. You are Brock's brother. Mm-hmm. He talked shit about you. <laughs> the blue one is your brother. Yes. Though my talents are vastly superior. No boast. I swear to Freya. Don't you swear on my wife's name. Only I can do that. And that's only after sexy time. Do not undo his work. Improve upon it only. Yeah, but can you can you put it down over there? That handle is no. filthy. Okay, I thought he was like a trickster and like he'd just steal it away, but he can't touch it on his own. Yeah, no, he's a germaphobe. Okay. It's funny, he's he's like how he meant tell. Yeah. But he's wearing gloves though. Yeah, that's really oh. weird. You would think maybe he just cleans the inside of those gloves a lot. Oh, mm. oh. Okay, I'm starting to see what Brit meant by the wackiness now. This is getting to be a bit much. Just up that mountain waits a treasure okay, so the other one has a cursing problem, the other one has a germ problem. Mm -hmm. Also, I'm pretty sure the other one has Argyria. And that explains why he's blue. Alright, what upgrades have you given me here? I cleaned it. That's oh. it? Yeah, there's all those <laughs> all the germs are gone. Uh what well, you got to talk to me about? Did you really make that axe for my mother? Oh, I'd recognize it anywhere. Ask me. It's one of our best. Huh. Fused with the echoing screams of twenty frost trolls. Neat. Yeah, What's a resurrection stone? Is there a stone that resurrects? How did you know her? She sought us out in the beginning. Uh, let's see. A magical stone that revives Kratos from death with a small amount of health. Press square when Kratos dies to allow Atreus to resurrect him and rejoin the fight. Oh, this is what you were talking about. Hell yeah! I love the save me button. No, sorry. Sorry, Atreus. I'm not done yet. Oh, I need more gold and whatnot, but um... Yeah, let's buy one of these for now. God of War, more like God of Broke. Thanks, Don't touch me. What? I didn't. I won't. Uh, da, 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 da. it will be displayed here. Okay, you got to use it all before you can buy another. All right, I guess I'm done here. Goodbye, you weird, weird little man. I don't know if we'll get to the to the dialogue for it too, but I guess it kind of shows that the axe, its handle is specifically oak, because when Sindri was told about the existence of germs, he was told that oak was the only thing that could stop them from spreading. But I guess he doesn't believe it, because now he didn't want to touch the uh, Axis Hammer. So probably not. Which bitches? You want some? Yeah. Well, seems like you want to die. That's fine by me. Oh, I'm poisoned as well. That's nasty. Great. More status effects. Now it's time for me to be a little bit more cautious, I think. Get a bit more axe heavy. Yeah. 
The enemies are just running down the hill to fight us. They literally are. Nope. Well timed. Nice. I didn't actually mean to do that, but uh, fortune favors the stupid. Just keep moving, Tom. Keep moving. Talking like black speech or whatnot to me. There you go. Doing pretty good, at least we're countering the uh, worms. Nice. The worms really aren't that much of a problem. They just run towards you. So just parry? Yeah, basically. I guess the enemy I had the least trouble with in the game so far. Explore the area, Tom. Get MacGuffins. Find all the things. It's what your wife would have wanted. I'm still fixing that. Oh, so I can't use it? Yeah. Yeah, that comes down. Right. Well, I guess we'll follow the path. Eventually we will find a cave. Indeed. In the cave you will fight the darkness. How will you fight darkness, Tom? Uh, with light, basically. Uh, let's see. The correct answer was magic missile. You gave the uh, very common and incorrect Nemora process method. Okay, so what do we do here? What if Kratos had giant yo-yos? Well... I can open this one at least. No, that's locked as well. Interesting. It's almost like we'll have to explore the world and come back. A little bit, yeah. No, Tom. Just throw it there, leave it there. Stop being so, like, <laughs> heavy handed with your button taps. Let's carry on up the mountain, I guess. You've bonded with the axe. You just can't bear to be away from it. I can't. I cannot. What the hell is this? You just want to walk Axe Chan back, back to her house while holding her books. Okay, so that changes the rune, but what does that actually change in the overworld is the thing. I swear I will make this playthrough ten times more cringy than the two best friends could ever hope to achieve. I mean, for starters, we're not even best friends. Ow. Oh. I mean, we're long distance chum pals. <laughs> Can you not phrase it like that, please? Cuddle buddies? That's a bit better. I don't know. I just feel like co commentator is just a little too professional. Yeah. Okay, yeah, there's like some symbols missing or something, I think. Yeah, see, oh, okay. So now I just need. Arrow pointing to the right, implying that I'm going to solve this puzzle. <laughs> and I think you got it. I think it's just that some of these fans have two symbols. There we go. But yeah, they only exist on those three. Booyah! Didn't miss this one, did I, guys? Nope. Ooh, Horn of Bloodmead. You've collected one of three... Oh, okay. I was wondering when I get stuff to upgrade me a... Uh... Me horn and whatnot. Hell yeah! Upgrade that horn. Nice. Okay, so there's only nine of these overall. Interesting. Well, then find the other two, and I'm sure the upgrade will be worth it. Dun 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 dun. dun, dun. I can't tell. Are we getting closer to the mountain? We are. It's right there. We're like on it. We've been on it for a while. Come on, Tom. Aim. Listen to Daddy Kratos when he talks to you. When Daddy Kratos is giving you lessons, they're not just for Atreus. They're also for the player. Where you at, witch? I seize you. After her! Tom, what did we just say about aiming? Come on. There we go. I don't know how I feel about this. It kind of forces you to disregard your axe, but... Well, we've got arrows of wonder. Yeah, I mean, we, we did get the first hit there. That was cool. And I've upgraded my stun feg, which is always good. Let's 
Come on, come out of the poo gas. You know you want to. Stop hiding. Let me back up, in the hope that she will back up. No, dearie, I'm just going to stay here now. She lives there now. That's her house. Yeah, come on, Tom. Be sensible. Oh, I'm out of the poo gas now, I think. Kind of in between. Keep the shield up at all times. Motherfucker. The best defense is holding a shield in front of you at all times so no enemies hit you. You thought I was going to say offense, but that's a stupid idea. Good offense will just get you killed faster. She's almost done. And I think she's done. Good stuff. We are through the poo gas, boy. It is all good. I don't know if that's how gas actually works, though. It was flowing down from the ceiling. Hmm. A wizard did it, though. The witch ghost. It's a shame I'm only like starting to pick up a bit of skills and whatnot about 20 hours into this recording session, but we're making progress. That's really all that matters. They really build up. God of War, That this has always been a thing that the God of War series did, where the first three levels are a pain in the ass because you have no abilities, and then you start getting them, and then it clicks, and then it starts to get fun. It's like, what, what, why did I have to go through that whole beginning bullshit? It's like I spent most of the time just running around because I was too weak to even touch anything. Hmm. Yeah, we saw one of these before, so I guess it's just come back later. It's to remind us all that we truly are the fairest of them all. Self-love. We truly are the God of War 2018. <laughs> I always just love quoting game titles or movies. Do you like it when the movie says the title in the movie, so you have to stand up and clap? <laughs> well, I don't stand up. I slouch in my chair and clap. <laughs> they did the thing! They did the thing! Do you think for this last leg of the It is James and a giant peach! Truly, we were James and the giant peach. <laughs> she meant more to me than you anyway. What? Oh. Oh, you should have pressed that button, Atreus. It would serve you to stop talking. <laughs> I hate dogs! <laughs> yeah, no, kid. I, I, I've learned that lesson from a ripe young age. You kind of don't talk shit to your parents about how much they care about the other parent. Yep. Are there more bitches around here? Was that it? Especially with Kratos, because this that's actually kind of sad. Yeah. Atreus, let, let's be honest, Kratos is a caring man. He is a man who loves his family to a fault. Like, that he is willing to murder everyone just to forget that he caused... Well, he, that he murdered them. But it's not even the murders that like, he caused them harm. That he harmed his family is his ultimate misgrievance. And he's willing to kill everyone to forget that he did that. So he cares way too much. So... <laughs> but his problem is that he also doesn't know how to show it. You know, he's got that whole masculinity thing where I love everyone, but I can't tell them all that. Or he doesn't really know how to show that. And for Atreus to not be able to see that side of his own dad. It's like, wow, Kratos is kind of, he's got to lay the law down. He's got to show them that he does care a lot. I agree. I can't articulate it as well as you, but I agree. That's sort of the whole character flaw of Kratos aside from the one track revenge mind thing. But luckily he usually snaps out of that at the very last second. Usually after he has to sacrifice the person anyways. <laughs> Way to go, Pandora. But no, it usually... It's his anger. His, the anger usually takes him to the edge, but he always comes back. He takes one step back. Shall I put this on? My defense goes down a little bit, but I need to focus on blocking anyway rather than tanking. I agree. You don't want to take hits. Nice. Yes. Once again, my nipples are free. <laughs> they hurt Kratos' nipples. Hmm. 